Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Megan. I am a wife and a mom. I have two boys. I have a six month old son named Remy and a 14 year old son named Jaden. We also have two dogs, one which is right here, Stanley. And then we have a peanut, which is our Yorkie who is sleeping right now. And then we also have a cat. I wanted to come on here today and do a what's in my diaper bag slash diaper caddy slash stroller bag because I love watching videos like this. It gives me great ideas of what I can put in my diaper bag. So I didn't organize my bag. I just, I'm going to just go ahead and make this video and we're just going to go with whatever is in my diaper bag. I have a Ruvalino diaper bag and it is one of the backpacks. And I absolutely love this bag. I do wish that it was a little bit larger. It is a very affordable bag. I will make sure to post the link down below. But I do wish that it was just a little bit bigger because I feel like sometimes I feel like I don't have enough room in it, but it works. So let's start with the outside pockets. So on the side pocket, you can actually put tissues here and it opens up and you can put a tissue pack in here, but I don't put that in here. I have a pacifier cleaning, toy cleaning, uh, teething toy type cleaning wipes. And it is by the brand Munchkin. And that is what I have in here. I never put anything on this side because I usually just put my phone. You can put a water bottle. These do, they're elastic so they do open up. But I just go ahead and I put my cell phone in here. So in the first pocket, I have my wallet. I also have lottery scratch-offs, so we need to go and redeem those. I have a sticky note, which I need to throw away. And then I also have, I carry a pen with me, and then this coupon, yummy coupon to Rita's. Oh, I wonder if it expired, it did. Well, I have a coupon that we can no longer use. Lipstick and chapstick. So that is what I have in my first pocket. Throw that away and that away. And then in the first pocket too, it has a little clip so you could attach, I, on, I guess your keys, if you wanna attach your keys to these, you can attach your keys to that. It has the second pocket. And in here I put, I don't even know why I have so many pens in this bag, but I have two more pens, <laughs> which we are gonna leave at the house. <laughs> and then I have, this is just user, userin cream. It's just for eczema in case the baby gets any type of rash or um, relieves and fortifies dry, itchy, eczema prone skin. He does not have eczema, but this was just a free sample. So I just threw it in the diaper bag and it is just stayed in here. Another thing of lip gloss, which I will go ahead and put in my front pocket. And then this is alcohol free sanitizing wipes. These just came, this is just a free sample. I haven't used it yet, but I did put it in the diaper bag. because I'm sure that I'm gonna need it one day. I have the Clorox disinfectant wipes to go. I have not been able to find any more of these wipes. I do have a big tub of the Lysol wipes so that when we need to disinfect car, shopping carts or anything of that sort, I have it in the car so I'll just take one out with me when we go into the store. Um, but these I love because I like, whenever I use the uh, changing tables in the restrooms, I like to wipe everything down before I put him on it. I mean, I use a uh, changing table mat but I like to make sure that I put everything down before I put them on it. So if I can find any more of these, I will probably grab a couple of them because they are just so convenient to have. And I got these before all of the COVID started and I had two packs and I wish that I at the time. I remember even thinking this was before COVID started. I was like, I should buy more because I know I'm always going to use them. And then COVID happened and everyone took them. <laughs> so, and then we keep a little bottle of hand sanitizer in here. I'm gonna move these pens so the baby doesn't get to them. Um, I have a whole bunch of hand sanitizers from my uh, baby shower. We had a whole bunch of them and they're super cute and they just say, thank you for coming to Megan's baby shower. I hope you guys can see that. But they're really, really cute. But we had a whole bunch of leftovers and my baby shower was last year. So they have definitely come in handy. We have been going through them like crazy. And that is all that I have in this 
this pocket. And this pocket is actually, it has two insulated bottle, um, bottle pockets, but I don't use them. I usually just put the hand sanitizer and stuff because we are breastfeeding, so I haven't had the need to use them. But when I do, if I do bring a bottle up, because sometimes I will bring a bottle when we go out because I don't, I, I'm not comfortable breastfeeding out in public as far as like being at the store and just kind of sitting down to the side and breastfeeding if you if you are comfortable doing that that is awesome i get really nervous because he's a very active eater he likes to kick and i just i get really i get really nervous when i do that so i tend to i will bring a bottle of um pumped milk or express milk and i will put it in here um, when we do go out but with covid we haven't really been going out so i haven't had a need to do this but i probably will when we go down to ohio but that's another story <laughs> so let me put everything back in here so this next pocket just a little pocket right in the front what do i have in here i actually have I have not used this in a while. This is from, these are from after I had my son, I would bring sanitary napkins because, you know, after you have a baby, you can't use anything and you have to use sanitary napkins. So I just, and I just keep them in there because you never know. Let's see. This next pocket, I do not bring anything in here. And it is such, there's a lot, I mean, there's a lot of pocket space. Don't get me wrong, this bag is, it's a big bag, but I feel like I need a bigger one. But there's a mesh pocket right here, and I guess I could put clothes in here or something. And then there's two more, I don't know if you can see them, two more really big pockets in here. But sometimes I'll bring, like if I need to bring paperwork or we go to the doctor's appointments, I'll put it in here so it doesn't get all, I don't have to fold it. And then in this, the large pocket, this is where I have everything. I always bring a crinkle book. We have a whole box of these crinkle books and we switch them out and we bring a crinkle book with us so that he can, something's going on with my TV. Okay, I'm gonna have it with my TV. Um, so I'll bring a crinkle book so that he can play with this. I like to bring a couple of different toys with me for him to play with because he does, if he starts to get a little bit antsy while we're out, I like to have a variety so he's not playing with the same thing. And then it's always fun for them when you can pull out a new toy. So we have a crinkle book. I bring this, it's a star. It's by Baby Einstein's and it is awesome. He absolutely loves this. I put it on the waving motion. There's two, there's two um, things you can switch it to. You can either switch it to so that it plays. Oh, I gotta turn it on first. So it plays, just continuous play, or to the hand. So when he shakes it, it plays for a little bit and then it'll shut off after, you'll see. It shuts off and then he has to shake it again and then it, he plays with it. So that is something that is like my go-to when he starts to get a little bit antsy while we're out. That is my go-to toy to pull out because he absolutely loves it and I know that that will keep him occupied for quite a while. I bring a little sun hat and I love this little hat because it is reversible. It has cars on one side, dinosaurs on the other. And I love this because sometimes he doesn't like to sit in his car seat all the time. So I carry him and I usually do bring my carrier with me and I don't want him to get a sunburn on his head if say we're out outside and the sun's just beating down on us. I don't want him to get overheated and I don't want him to get any type of sunburn on his head. So I always bring a hat. I have a burp cloth. These burp cloths, I was really excited to get them because I saw them online because we were looking for more burp cloths because we go through burp cloths like crazy. And I saw these and I believe they are by Gerber. They are, they are by Gerber and they're like a flannel material. And they're, I mean, these are huge burp cloths, but they don't absorb. And I, don't, I mean, I'm not gonna just throw them out. So I figured we'll just bring them for the diaper bag because we don't go out that often to where we need a burp cloth. But if we do, at least we're getting use out of them. I bring a little blanket, one of the little muslin blankets. So you never know if you're gonna go inside of a store and it's gonna be cold or chilly. So I just always like to have a blanket with me so that if it is cold, he's, he doesn't get cold. I always bring 
bibs with me. I usually have about two or three in here, but we did uh, go out yesterday. We were driving around, so we do. He tends to go through a lot of bibs because he does drool quite a bit. And so I have a bib in here. We have another toy. And this one, I just hook on to the car seat or I hook on to whatever seat he's in and it just rattles. It's, it's so cute. He really likes this by Infantino. He really, really likes this. And then my nursing cover, even though I don't, I prefer not to nurse in public. I honestly have only had to use this just a handful of times before COVID happened. We would go out to restaurants here. He'd get hungry, so I'd cover myself, but he was also smaller. He didn't kick me as much. Now he kicks me. He doesn't like to be covered. <laughs> So, um, but this cover, this nursing cover is awesome, you guys. You just tie it up right here. I think this was only like five, five or nine dollars. It was really, really cheap. You put it over your head. It has a little, um, just like a little piece of plastic in here. So you can still look down and see your baby and it covers and it's super light, it's airy. And I really, really like this cover but we haven't had the need to use it because a lot of the time too, if we are out and he gets hungry, I'll just go to the car and I'll just feed him in there just because I'm, it's just because I'm a lot more comfortable like that. Next in here, I have more toys. I bring a lot of toys with me because we have been kind of running around, especially with me doing Instacart now. Sometimes uh, my husband will just wait in the car while I go inside and do what I need to do. And so it helps him keep the baby entertained if he's, fussy or if we do have to go out and do something then and he gets fussy we have a whole selection of stuff to bring him or give him so we have this toy it just spins it was part of one of his um his little play gyms that he was that he would play with we have this which is a teether that i got and it just has all the sides have different textures on them so that he can chew on it he he kind of likes this he doesn't really play with it that much which is why it's in the bag and then I have been bringing sunscreen with us because we went to the beach the other day. Well, yeah, we went to the beach the other day and I wanted to make sure, I didn't want to forget the sunscreen because I didn't want him to get burned. So this actually does not stay in my diaper bag. And then we have two more TV toys. We have this little, this came with Sophie the giraffe, just a little teether. He absolutely loves this. And then this one, I purchased this from a YouTuber and she makes a bunch of pacifier clips and teething rings. Well, this was the only teething ring she made. She's gonna be making another teething ring. I had messaged her because he really loves this and I wanted to get another one. And I love supporting the small businesses out there. I will make sure to post her um, link to her Etsy shop below because I have a couple of things that I did get from her shop and I really like the quality of them. We haven't had any problems with them coming apart. They've been just, they've been great. Hopefully it didn't get too dark in here because the sun kind of got covered by a cloud. <laughs> and then next I have one more toy. <laughs> this is again a part of the gym that he doesn't play with right now. Um, so we just bring them with us because he does like to play with those. And then on the inside pockets, I have another bib. You can never have too many bibs. <laughs> we have another bib. And then I have two things of diaper rash cream. I have the Aquaphor cream, and then I have a spray bottle of the Boogie Bottoms No Rub <laughs> Diaper Rash Spray. This I like to use if I am, say, changing him inside the restroom on a diaper, on a diaper changing thing, and I don't want to, like I'm trying to just be really quick about it. The Aquaphor is a little bit difficult to squeeze out of this. I, I don't know. I. I don't know if it's just me, but I always have trouble squeezing out. It's just such a thick um, ointment that it's hard for me to squeeze out of this. So if I'm in a rush and I want to hurry up and quickly get him, put diaper rash cream on him, I unlock it, spray it, lock it back up, and yeah, make sure the spray thing was on, <laughs> or the lock was on, make sure I didn't do it the wrong way. But I just lock it up and then put it back in here, and I haven't had any problems with this leaking out. It's a thick white ointment. Um, I don't like to really put ointments on him that are, um, I don't know why, but that there's nothing wrong with them. Like Desitin, they have that just white, they look white, like white pasty. I don't like that. I like clear ointments on him. So we have Aquaphor and then I love um, the A&Z ointments. That's what I like to use, but we got this. And so I make sure that I use this too. 
let's see what else do i have i have diapers which i actually need to pull more diapers in here because we only have two left We've been, like I said, we've been running around. We've been doing the Instacart. So he's been waiting in the car with my husband. And we just have been using a lot of diapers. So I'm actually going to steal some diapers from the diaper caddy that I have over here that I'm going to show you guys. And I like to bring a couple, bring about five with me. That may seem like a lot. But there was one point where we went somewhere and this little boy kept pooping. And I would change his diaper, he'd poop, change his diaper, he'd poop. And by the time we knew it, I barely had any diapers left. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I may run out of diapers. Like we may need to actually go buy diapers because I didn't bring enough. So I bring, I at least bring five with me. As same with the diaper wipes. This is just a Huggies reusable diaper wipe bag. And I love it. It's just like a little water bag. And then I just refill it with whatever wipes that I have. And I do tend to put quite a bit of wipes in here. I, as you can tell, it's pretty full because the same thing happened with that that day when he was having an accident after accident, pooping, pooping, pooping. It, I almost ran out baby wipes. I was like, what? So I always overpack on the baby wipes and the diapers. It's not a big deal to me. It's not an inconvenience to me. So I always make sure to overpack on those. And then I'm just gonna put everything back in here but this and then we make sure to pack all the toys up but I'll probably leave these little toys out for him because he does like to play with the TV ring and then yeah and then this does I do carry this little I think it's by munchkin they're just like they're uh, little plastic like trash bags like poop bags um, and so if he has a dirty diaper and we have to change him in the car, this came in handy when we moved from Texas because we did do a lot of uh, car changings at the rest stops. I didn't, I don't really like to take him into public restrooms and put him on the diaper changing table even before COVID. I didn't, I didn't like to do that. It just wasn't, I don't know. It grosses me out. It really does. I have nothing against it. I've done it, which is why I have the little wipes. <laughs> to, I wiped down the entire thing. But if I can avoid having to do that, I do. So I will change it in the car. These come in handy so that I can just, if he poops or whatever, they're scented. I can just put the diaper in here. It doesn't smell and I can throw it away at the next destination. And then the last zipper, which I think is really, really convenient. I've never used it. It's back here. And this is pretty big. I don't know if you can tell how big it is, but it's in the back. So I, so if you're ever going anywhere and you're saying you're not sure about the area, like I know when we went to New Orleans, people would tell us I had a little bag, backpack, and they were like, don't wear the backpack on the back. Sometimes people will pickpocket you. I don't know. So I think this is really convenient. If you say you're a tourist somewhere and you want to make sure that you put your wallet, your phone, everything behind you so that, I mean, because you can't really see, well, I mean, I guess you kind of can, but... People, if you're going to get pit pocket, I guess, are going to be more likely to choose one of the pockets out here. I don't know. But it's a good it's a good pocket to have if you're one of those people that are worried about getting pit pocket while you are on vacation somewhere. I don't know. So the next thing I'm going to show you is my um, diaper bag for my stroller. When my husband and I would go on walks here in the neighborhood, I... I remember telling my husband because we were on a walk we were actually pretty far from the house and he pooped and we didn't have anything so we didn't bring the backpack because I was like oh we're just walking in the neighborhood no big deal and he pooped and so we didn't have anything to change him we had to hurry up and get home he was upset he had poop I would have been upset too <coughs> excuse me so I went ahead and this is by Rebe Rebebe Rebebe Rebebel Rebebel Rebebe I'm not really sure I will link it down below. I will try and find this one and link it down below. This is what I purchased on Amazon. And it's just a little diaper bag that you can put on your stroller. And it has, so you can actually unhook this and then make this longer. So I am trying to do this with him in my arms. And you can hook it and you can do it on both sides. Let me hook them together really quick. And you can hook it to your stroller like that. 
and it just has these little clasps right here and you can hook it to your stroller and it is so awesome to have especially say if you want to go say you're just going to run into walmart real quick or to target and you don't want to take the diaper bag and you're trying to take as little as possible because you say you have a really big bulky diaper bag and you don't want to take it just bring your stroller or even the basket just hook this why is this wet i think you drooled on it <laughs> Hook this to the shopping cart and you can put your wallet in here. You can put your keys in here. There is a pocket on the back and you can put your keys in there, your phone in there, your wallet in there. And then, excuse me, to open it up, it has a clasp, opens up like this. It is awesome. So what it is, I put one diaper in here because we never use this. It's only for if we go on a walk and I'm, I don't, I always bring the diaper bag into a store. But if you wanted to just use this, you could. I put a diaper in here. Sometimes if we're going out somewhere, like if I know we're gonna be walking kind of far, we love, we love to go for walks. We usually tend to take really long walks. I put the onesie behind here. And then this is just um, some baby wipes. There's just a couple in here. Not a lot, just enough because I don't wanna make this thing too bulky. And then down here, it opens up. And it is a changing pad. How awesome is that? It is just one big changing pad. And it does unhook. There are buttons that you can unhook it if you don't want to keep it hooked up while, it's, while you're changing your baby. But you can. It is so awesome. And it just folds back up. You just close it up. Close this whole thing up. And that's it. It's super convenient. And then the last thing, I didn't mean to throw it like that. <laughs> the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys is my diaper caddy. Now this diaper caddy, I am really, really happy that we got this. Cause when I was pregnant, I asked one of my coworkers, I said, what is one thing, cause they, he, has a, he has a little girl. And I was like, what is one thing that you got that you couldn't live without? That was just such a great, a great thing that you would always recommend to somebody. He said, make sure you get a diaper caddy. I never even considered getting a diaper caddy. I didn't have a diaper caddy with my first. I didn't even think about it. So I was like, huh, all right, well, I'll add that to my registry and I'll get a diaper caddy. And you know, it would be, it would be convenient to have in the living room. Well, at our old house, it wasn't a big deal because we had a one story. Um, it was a ranch style home and I would just change him. I would just, I could just walk to the bedroom. It was just right there by the kitchen. It wasn't a distance. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is be running up and down, up and down, up and down. And when we get the basement fixed up, we're gonna have one in the basement too, because the last thing I wanna do is run from the basement all the way upstairs to change him. So this is so convenient because we spend a lot of the time downstairs. We don't really spend a lot of the time in the bedrooms. And this diaper caddy, I will show it to you guys again. It has pockets. It's by HB Life, it has pockets all around. And it is so convenient and I use this every single day. If you are a new mom and you are just, you're not quite sure what to add to your registry, add a diaper caddy. It doesn't matter what brand it is, make sure you have a diaper caddy. It is a, a must. So I will start with the inside pockets and we will work our way out. I have baby wipes in here, diaper rash ointment, a and Z ointment. I love this ointment. I like the way it smells. I use this. I love Aquaphor. I, he has never had a diaper rash. He started to get a little bit of a diaper rash when I first brought him home from the hospital. So I went ahead and I was using Aquaphor and I was putting that on him. And every, even to this day, every single diaper change, when I'm done changing him, I put diaper rash cream on him, just a light layer so that when he does pee or poop, there's that barrier protecting the skin so that he doesn't get a diaper rash. And we have never had a diaper rash. It went away with it, with the Aquaphor. It went away by the next day. His little irritation was gone and he has never had one. Now, I'm not saying that your baby will never get a diaper rash if you put this a and ointment on him or Aquaphor, whichever ointment you choose to put on your baby. I'm not saying that they're never gonna get a diaper rash, but I'm just saying it has worked for us. I always keep I'm not gonna take them all out of here, but I keep a whole bunch of diapers in here. A whole bunch, because we go through so many diapers. I keep bibs in here, and I'm. it looks like a lot, but I'm telling you, this little guy can go through four or five bibs a day. We have a ton of bibs. 
bibs are a must. I never really needed it with my first. He didn't seem to drool as much as Remy does, but Remy drools quite a bit. I know he's teething. No teeth yet, but he's teething. So this is all the bibs that we have in here. This isn't even all of our bibs. We have bibs that I need to fold. There's more bibs upstairs. We have a ton. We have bibs in that pocket. I always have burp cloths in here. These Muslim burp cloths are amazing. I love them. Have four burp cloths. What else do I have in here? This actually does not go in here. This goes in his uh, shower caddy that we usually keep his uh, little washcloths in his shower caddy. So that doesn't go there. This should probably not be in here anymore. Actually, more baby wash things. They don't go in there. I had a uh, little beanie and this is so cute, you guys. And I had bought these and I had kept one in here because it was cold when we first moved into our house. So whenever we wanted to go outside, I would just grab a beanie from here, put it on him so we could go outside. I have the nose Frida, which I actually have the other piece over there. I need to connect the other piece to it. Uh, the nose Frida is awesome. If you don't have the nose Frida, it sounds gross to suck the burgers out, but there is a little filter on here, right in here. You don't get anything in your mouth, but it is amazing. Now he fights me on it, so it's really hard for me to use it. I keep another teether. We have the little teething egg. We had heard that these were great and babies love them he is not a fan of it maybe he'll grow into it one day and be a fan please don't do that well maybe he'll grow into it and be a fan of this one day but as of right now he's not a fan of the teething egg i keep it in here in hopes that one day he will like it because this isn't yeah we'll see that is for that pocket and then in here, I like to keep his saline spray for his nose. So when you use the nose free, it's best to put a little bit of saline spray in there. Helps get everything moist and come out. Saline spray. I have another thing of saline spray that I had to buy a second nose free because my dogs chewed up the first one. So we it came, the one that I bought came with nose spray. So we have two nose sprays in here. I am getting drool all over me. Yeah with my leg off <laughs> two nose sprayers I have a bulb I don't use this anymore I used this quite a bit when he was a baby but we just once we got the nose Frida I didn't really have a need or use for this anymore but I probably should take it out but we keep it in there you, just, you never know then I have a little remedies gripe water he doesn't use this as much anymore but he used to use gripe water every single day, multiple times a day when he was little, when he was first, first born up until about four, four months. Yeah. Up until about four months, he used to use it every day when they're first born, their digestive systems are still developing. And so he would get really, really bad gas. And so that would, that was like a lifesaver. I have a little head thermometer in here. I don't have a, a fancy thermometer. I probably should get one. Um, but we just haven't gotten one, but I have this little head one that you just place on their head and it reads their temperature. I have hydrocortisone cream. Why is it all sticky? I don't know why my hands are sticky, but uh, we have hydrocortisone cream. He had a little bit of a rash on him at one time on his belly. And I think it was because we switched, um, we went ahead and we switched his body wash and uh, he ended up getting a little bit of a rash. So we kept that in here. If we noticed like a little bit of a rash developing on him, we'll put a little bit of hydrocortisone cream on him. Not a lot, just a little bit. And it clears up immediately. And then I have a bunch of little syringes in here that we use. We did use when we gave him the gripe water. I have more filters. Why is this sticky? I don't understand what is spilling in here. All right. So I went ahead and I wiped off whatever the heck that was because there's something really sticky in that bag i have no idea because we don't really have anything sticky in there but I have more filters for the nose frida and then the last thing i have is this zarby's baby cough syrup and mucus i just always have this in here it has agave in there because babies aren't supposed to have anything with honey excuse me it has agave in there he's not sick but at one time, he did have a little bit of congestion, and so I went ahead and gave him this, and it worked great. And then, the next thing I have, I'm going to do the pockets on the outside, and then we will be done, because I know this video is probably going to be like 30 minutes long, but maybe I should have done it in, in separate sets, but here we are. We're already going with this. I keep 
Come here. What's wrong? What do you want? Here, you want this? There you go. Okay. So we have the nail clippers that I use. I really love these nail clippers because you can hold on to them. He is losing it. I'm going to try and hurry. We have this little, it is called the Oogie Bear. This is called the Oogie Bear and this is, sounds gross too, but you can scrape the little boogers. It only goes in so far because of the little bear's ears. It keeps it from going too far in the nose and you can just kind of scrape the boogers out of their nose if they've got boogers lined on their nose. Next pocket is nothing. This pocket is three pacifier clips. We always use pacifier clips when we go out because he likes to throw his pacifier or he drops it and it's just, these are convenient to have, especially if I am carrying him in the carrier. I like to hook it onto the carrier and then that's how we bring the pacifier with us. This one was not made by her, but these two were made by her. And they're so cute, white speckled with brown wood. And then this is green and wood teething balls. They're all teething balls, they're safe. The wood doesn't break apart, it doesn't get splinters, it doesn't hurt your baby. These are all okay for babies. And the next pocket is nothing. Next pocket is nothing, nothing, nothing. And finally, the last pocket. A pen, clearly I have way too many pens in my life. Another pen, keep it here. And then I have two more pacifier clips. These I have not used, but I plan to use them when he does start going to daycare because I can write his name on them. And I don't want them to lose the ones with the little rubber balls, the little teething balls, but these are okay if they lose them. They're not very expensive, but I will do plan on writing his name on it, but we have not used these two for these uh, pacifier clips. So that is the end of my video. You okay? That is the end of my video. Thank you so, I'm so sorry. Okay. Here, here. All right, that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I am apologize that this is too long, but I've been really, really wanting to make this video and I love watching everyone else's videos when you do what's in my diaper bag because it gives me ideas of what I can put in mine and hopefully I can give you guys ideas of what to put in your diaper bags. Maybe you never thought of getting a diaper caddy and now you're like, hey, I need a diaper caddy. I did my job. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Please make sure to hit that alert bell so that you can be alerted when I post new videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Say bye. Can you say bye? He can't say bye yet, but he says bye. <laughs>